So I'm an amateur taxidermist, and what I've been doing recently is switching antlers on existing mounts. And I'm going to show you guys how I do that. I got this deer here last week, and I'm going to put it on this mount, which I purchased from Craigslist for 40 bucks. Give you an idea on how I started doing this. Uh, back in 1992, I shot this deer here. I took it to a local taxidermist. A couple years later, I shot that deer back there. Took it to a local taxidermist. And I had tried taxidermy back in the 70s, and it didn't really work out for me. You're trying to figure out how to do it from a little diagram in a book, and I just kind of gave up on it. But in the 90s, they came out with videos. And I bought a couple videos, and I was doing some birds, and I tried a deer head and I went back to this taxidermist he gave me a little some little pointers how to do the eyes and how to do the nose and get the lips right things like that and I uh, I did a few I did that deer back there I did this deer right here I did this deer here I did a couple other deer I did that deer over there did a couple for my brother did one for my uh, good friend of mine and uh, one day I went back over to see this taxidermist just to look at some of his stuff. And he had a, a mount on the wall. He said, hey, you're interested in buying that mount? The guy didn't pay for it. I said, well, I don't know. I really don't want it. I don't need it. He says, well, I could switch your, put a set, your antlers on it. And it would be like it was yours. And that's when the light bulb went off. I said, huh, how do you do that? He said, well, you rehydrate the hide with uh, water and what, rags and put them on top of the head, pull the stitches out and switch the antlers. So that's how I got started in doing this antler switching. The first thing you have to do is buy a donor mount. And there's some things you have to look at. First of all, the distance between the antlers and the diameter of the bases has to be very close. you can see on this mount that's the same and this is the same so the next thing you have to do is to relax the cape so what you do is you come into the back here and you find a seam and I'll took, take some uh, hypodermic needle with some water in it and I'll shoot it in there and I'll try to rehydrate this. Then I put rags on top of it to keep it wet. Keep wet rags on it. So now what I do is I go in and I start cutting these stitches out. Start pulling them all out. And then I'll add some more hydration to it to get this soft so I can pull everything away and take the old antlers off. So I'll keep working it. I'll keep putting water, squirting water down in the front, around the ears. There's a lot of clay in this one. Gotta soften that stuff up. The only way to do that is with water. And I keep working it until I get the hide peeled back and I can take the old antlers off. Okay, I got the antlers off. I'll clean all this up in here, get all this clay out of here. And I'll still keep hydrating this. Uh, I'll put some wet rags in there. I want this to soften up, be soft so I can move it around so it might stretch a little bit. A good taxidermist tans his hide, so this is basically a piece of leather. And when you sew it back together, you can use the same holes that the uh, stitches came out of. So it usually works out pretty good. Well, I'd say the hardest part of this whole thing is fitting the antlers. It's just a little trial and error. These ones are fitting on here pretty good. I have a little, little one eighth of an inch gap in the back, but the hair will cover that. Now I'll fill all this with clay, let it sit overnight, and start sewing it up tomorrow. 
I think those antlers fit pretty good where they are. Okay, I've let this sit overnight with wet rags on the cape here. And it has hydrated very well. It's real soft and subtle. And now I'm going to sew this baby up. Okay, I have some upholstery thread here, which is a very strong, and I'm going to show you what you need to do with it. Cut a piece a couple feet long. Thread your needle. Take it together, tie it this way, okay we're going to take our needle which is like this, go to the first hole that's already in the cape, push it through, and we're going to put the needle back through the, the loop in the thread. And that's how we're going to start it, right there. Just go into the same holes that are already there, going through and pulling it tight all the way down to here. And then you're going to do the other side. You might get a longer piece. You might be able to take it all the way down to finish. Okay. I keep threading it in to the existing holes. Pulling it tight as I go. Make sure the hair isn't underneath the stitch. And find another hole. Remember before I said there might be a little gap here? Well, there's no gap there now. Since I hydrated this, it has closed up. Sometimes this stuff will stretch a little bit. Good taxidermist will tan his capes. So you have a very nice piece of leather here. And you just keep going down into the existing holes. until you reach the bottom of the Y. Okay, I'm down to the last stitch here in the Y. I'm going to show you how you end your stitch. You pull it through. You cut the needle off. You pull one of the sides back through, and then you tie it. That's how you end your stitch. So I'll do this side all the way down, and we're done. Okay, there it is, done. 
you can hardly feel the seam. I use a dog flea comb to comb the hair. Okay, we're all done. You can't even tell. So go back over this. Find yourself a donor mount. Just remember to get it very close, the antler diameter at the base, and that this is between the antlers. And uh, I spent probably mm, four hours on this, and it looks perfect to me. So if you can't afford for a, a full size mount at a taxidermist, why? Try doing this. This is the seventh one I've done. I've done two for my grandson. I've done two for a friend of mine. And I've done three for myself. And it's the only way I'll do them now. I shot this deer less than a week ago. So I was lucky to find a, a donor mount right away. But uh, look at the mounts. Make sure that they're in good shape. The lips, the eyes, the nose, the ears. And you have yourself a nice looking mount. So this mount cost me 40 bucks. It even came with the shield. Can't beat that. I usually won't pay over 75 for a uh, donor mount. Give it a try.